What's everyone buzzing about? In Aspen, Colorado, there's comedy in the air as the world's funniest folks gather to honor their own. I'm very antisocial. And some comedy kings exercise their right to free speech. Religion is bad and pot is good. But first, some Hollywood heavies fess up about their latest project. It is kind of nasty. Let the buzzing begin. Oh, shout out to the buzz. Some of the biggest names in comedy descended upon Aspen, Colorado for HBO's 8th annual U.S. Comedy Arts Festival. I'm here for the hose. It was a chance to celebrate the people who work to make us laugh oh, oh. Ah. and to catch a sneak peek at their latest endeavors. <laughs> Robin Williams, Edward Norton, Catherine Keener, and Danny DeVito were on hand to unveil their latest film, Death to Smoochie, making its world premiere at the festival. It's dark and uh, twisted and fun. <laughs> <laughs> DeVito didn't just star in the film. Think of it as a tool of the trade. He also directed it. He's got nasty funny written all over him. He's a fantastic director. He's a troll without a bridge. Ed Norton Smoochie is the purple rhino on a TV kid show, loved by everyone. Smoochie is the face of evil. Except this guy who wants Smoochie dead. This is a straight downhill slide past Betty Ford and beyond. It's about an idealist who, um, you know, tries to hang on to his values against the machine. We need to focus on putting together the best show possible. Despite its kiddie show setting, the cast makes it clear this comedy isn't a family flick. We're always looking for a movie to take our kids to. This ain't it. Ugh. Definitely don't bring the children. It's fun making movies, period, but this was, Death to Smoochie was like a blast. Death to Smoochie hits theaters March 29th. Clinton deserved to get laid. Belief in God is perhaps a foolish enterprise and maybe a sign of mental illness. For never being afraid to tell it like it is, the Freedom of Speech Award was bestowed upon Bill Maher, Dick Gregory, George Carlin, and the Smothers Brothers. Damn, all of those people. I, I, all of them. Good you. company to be in, I'll tell you. The award commended these artists for embracing the First Amendment and the right to tell jokes even when some people don't think they're funny. Free speech, religious tolerance, political democracy, though they have their problems, but they are our sacred traditions. <laughs> really means something when your peers honor you. You can trick just ordinary people. <laughs> My own dog turns around and gives me a dirty look. Lily Tomlin might get dissed at home, but she and Whoopi Goldberg both received special awards. Is Whoopi being on you? Yay. I think I have a gigantic ego. Lily was honored for her outstanding comedic achievements. Lucy. Don't you think you've had enough? And Whoopi received the American Film Institute Award for her versatility as a performer. It was also a chance to look back on the early days of their careers. So my agent called me, he says, can you really do this barefoot tap dance? And I said, oh, sure. You Whoopi even gave some pointers to a lucky Buzz crew member. What are we watching? It's still Buzz. That's right. What do we want to tell them? Buzz off. Buzz off. You've just been buzzed. <laughs>